Hey guys, Candace here. So on my last video, I showed you how to create a Facebook fan page, and that's what you're looking at on this screen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find content, viral, trending content, you name it. First things first, you've got to ask yourself, what is your brand about? What do you stand for? And what would your followers like to see? Now, mine is Be Your Own You, so I'm going to share positive, motivating, uplifting posts, messages, stories. So I will go to Pinterest first because that's my go-to. I have everything I need. Type in Pinterest up here. Search. Now, I'm just going to search Be You. So what I'm going to do now on this page, as you can see, there's a lot of quotes. Just, just be you. I'm going to go through these and just find 10 or 15 and go ahead and just save them to a folder on my computer. Find what's relative and what could relate to my page. <clears throat> okay, guys, so I just spent about five minutes on Pinterest finding photos. I could also use Google. Google's your best friend. You can go on there and type BU quotes, happiness quotes. Obviously, this would be for my page, but anything relative to your page, you can use Google or Pinterest. And those are picture posts. I like to post at least two picture posts a day. Um, one could be a quote and one could just be an image. Um, now I'm going to show you how to find viral content that has great stories that are already trending that have been shared a lot. So the first one I'm going to show you is going to be faithit.com. Someone shared this with me. Faith it. This is going to have top shared stories, the latest, browse. So what I would do is scroll through here. Well, I would go to browse actually and find some trending stories that are somewhat relative to your page. The reason we're doing this is because these stories will just get more engagement just because they're already trending on Facebook probably. They've already been searched. They've already been Googled. They're just trending. So I'm going to go ahead and browse. Oops inspirational because that's my page is about inspirational okay here's a good one Jennifer Aniston she's already you know gonna be viral just because of her name who she is Jennifer Aniston donates 1 million to hurricane relief in Puerto Rico hopes to inspire others to give I'm gonna go ahead and click on that story I'm going to read through it just so I know it's a good story. I don't like showing negative stuff, so this seems pretty positive. So there you go. I could share it, tweet it. I'm just going to copy this link and just go post it myself right now. Why? I'm not going to create a folder of these because each day there's a new trending story. There's a new top hit. So this might not be trending in a week. So I want to post these, you know, within the next couple of days. I'm going to go back to my page. Just gonna paste that link. Delete this because the link, the link, the post will stay there. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I'll put wow. I'm gonna tag Jennifer Aniston because that's also just gonna put you up in the feed. It's gonna tag her, pop up the people who might like her or follow her. So there you go. I could, um, you know, think of a better tag. But I'm just giving you the quick rundown. So I'm going to go ahead and just click publish. So that's just one trending story. I can go back to Faith It and find some more. You know, my page is about funny, positive, uplifting videos. Stories. I can go ahead and click humor. And I'll pick one of these. Watch dude bust out epic performance of no dignity at Southwest Airlines Gate. Has a story and it will have a video. There we go, that's pretty funny guys. Gonna go ahead and copy that link. Come back here. I'll be like, OMG, you won't believe what happened. Now, obviously, they're going to see the tagline, but if they don't, 
If they're not looking, they're just gonna go ahead and click on that link. So I could post this now, but since I just posted another story, I'm gonna go ahead and schedule this. Just because I don't want, you know, story after story after story. I wanna have strategic postings. I'm gonna go and click here. Schedule. I will schedule it for today. I'll do it it's 3 o'clock my time, 5 o'clock. Or I could say, hey, let's post it tomorrow. And just click schedule. And as you, see, as you can see right here, scheduled posts. So that's what I'm gonna, that's what I will do for all of my posts. So for that 10, 15 posts I just saved on Pinterest, I'm gonna go ahead, click upload a photo, go to my folder of all the posts that I just saved, open. This post was about confidence. So all I'm gonna put is confidence is the most beautiful thing you can wear. Do you agree? Let us know in the comments below. I like being personal, so I'm adding a little smiley face. But see right here, this is a question. That will help with your engagement because you're asking your followers, you're asking your fans, and they're going to want to participate and communicate with you. I'm going to go ahead and do hashtag this confidence because that's also a trending word. And hashtag beautiful. People love to use beautiful and confidence. I'm, I don't want to publish this right now again because I just created a post. But maybe this one could be like in 30 minutes. So there we go. For Facebook, I like to post regularly because on most people's timelines, it's not about what's in order. It's what's trending. So if I post five times a day, I'm going to have a higher chance of one of those posts trending and popping up at other people's news feeds. So I'll probably share two stories, two trending stories, and then two posts, like a, a quote post or a picture post, and then just a status. And be like, hey guys, happy Thursday, I hope your day is going well, publish. So it's that easy. Um, just one more site just to show you that I use to find content is Vico, V-Y-C-O, trending topics. I'm not exactly sure if you have to pay for this. You maybe do, but if you don't, go ahead and go to Faith It. That's a free tool that you can use. The cool thing about Vico is that you can find trending topics, hot trend topics, Facebook tools, YouTube tools, Vimeo. So it's supposed to show me what's trending. Okay, so this is other stores that are trending. 27 dump dinners that basically cook themselves. Pull down some more, find some other good stuff. Or you can either, or you can click on top posts this week. Trending is what's trending now. This is the top post for the week. People are losing their minds over Chloe and Kylie's baby bumps. You know, the Kardashians, they're always going to trend. Or I can go ahead and search. I might want to just search confidence. What little things do you do to boost your confidence? It's a great one. That's engaging them to question. I'm uh, just going to share some, you know, what you do. This is a good one. I personally like this. Go back here. Post it. I'm going to say, what do you do? Let us know in the comments below. I'm going to schedule that for tomorrow. That easy. Okay, guys, so it was that easy. I showed you how to find posts on Faith and Vico um, on Pinterest. You can go to Google. What I would do is go on Google and Pinterest and spend about 30 minutes and just go rack up a whole library of content of picture posts and quote posts and just schedule those out. And then what I would do is come back every day and go share at least two viral trending stories. Because like I said, each day a new story is trending and each day a new viral video is trending. So you don't want to schedule those out really, at least not a week in advance. But I could, you know, spend 30 minutes on Pinterest or Google and schedule at least a whole month's worth of posting. But when it comes to viral content, that's where I would come in manually every day and go share one to two. 
there you have it guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below or somewhere on this page and i would love to help you out thanks for watching